Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to branch off from what I usually do. Um, I don't know. My wife lately has just been saying to me, you know, D, you really don't come out on your videos. You don't really show your personality. You know, you always just report the news. Why don't you let people know a little bit about yourself and just, you know, be yourself when you're on, you know, when you're doing these type of things, you know, don't always just report the news, you know, like be yourself. So today I decided, you know what, I think she's right. I think I need to tell you guys who exactly am I. Now, I am a tech enthusiast. Uh, I, I love anything technology. Um, I, I, I love televisions. Um, I have a vast knowledge on TVs. And I've been a gamer for 30 years. So I, I, I've, I've been gaming a long, long time. And, uh, you know, this is something that I really enjoy. Now, I've seen the industry change so many times over. And it's truly amazing for me to see the games the way they look today. You know, I could never, com I could never think of that, uh, you know, 30 years ago when I was playing games, when I was playing, you know, these little Nintendo games, uh, you know, the 8-bit the, the, the graphics, you know, the, 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 the Commodore 64s. I could never imagine that games would uh, approach this type of realism. So it is really a great time to be alive and to be a gamer because the gaming stuff that we have right now is just incredible. Uh, I'll give you an example, VR. Uh, virtual reality now you guys hear me talk a lot about virtual reality and um, it's really hard to describe it unless you know you've experienced it it's something that you just have to try for yourself it's really hard to um, convey it through words you just you just have to experience it now a lot of people of course you know they don't have access to a, a PlayStation VR or you know, maybe they have an Xbox or, or, or they don't have a powerful enough PC to experience a virtual reality. The Microsoft stores, um, I know we have a lot across Canada and I know there's tons of them in the States. If you go into the Microsoft store, you can actually try out the virtual reality. Now they have uh, mixed reality, virtual realities that you, uh, virtual reality um, demos that you can do. And uh, these are of course with the Windows mixed reality headsets. They have the HTC Vive in there. You you know they 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 have the um the oculus rift and you can try all of these vrs and and you know get an experience and they kind of have the room scale set up so they have a part of the room you know taped off so that you know you don't hit anything and people know that you know not to go into that zone and you can really experience some room scale vr at the microsoft store so i encourage anybody that's interested in vr or whatever just go into the store and just just try it out it's a really cool experience i really think it takes gaming to the next level unfortunately like i said before it's something that you have to experience it's it's hard to describe it but it's definitely a game changer hopefully the next generation coming in uh virtual reality be a little bit cheaper uh right now it's kind of expensive to get into virtual reality i have about I don't know, I have like three four, three or four headsets. And to be honest, you know, they, they cost some money. Of course, I got a few of them when they were on sale and whatnot. And of course, I have the Oculus Go, which is uh, a standalone VR unit that doesn't need a computer or anything, or it doesn't even need a phone. It has everything built into it. Now, that one's a little bit cheaper. Now, that device is okay for an entry-level VR device. Um, it, the price is right. Uh, you know, you get the controller, but you don't get the full experience that you get with a... Uh, dedicated VR headset. You just you just don't. But it is good to consume media. I love watching Netflix movies in that thing. You know, you really think you're in a big theater that has like you know a hundred and hundred and fifty foot screen. It's it's really truly amazing. Now today, honest to tell you, I really just wanted to talk about some interesting news that I got about the Samsung TVs. Now apparently, Samsung is going to have an update. It's going to be coming. I don't really know when it's going to be coming. I'm going to say within the next month. I, I know it's coming really soon. And there was other things I was told, but unfortunately, I can't really go into it at this time. But I will say this. It's very, very exciting for 2018 and 2019 uh, Samsung owners. Uh, I don't want to give out too many details, but... If this happens, it's going to be a big deal and it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge, huge news. Now, put down in the comment section below what you guys speculate this information is that I'm going to report on in the next few weeks. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to 
cover my ground here. My, my source actually told me not to give out that information just yet. So, you know, I have to respect my source. But they did tell me I could say this, though. Um, there is an update coming to the Samsung 2018-2019 TVs that will support Apple. Now, it will support Apple iTunes. So you'll be able to get a hold of their catalog of music and, of course, their movies. I'm not sure. I don't think it's going to really pertain to the apps. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's, this is just for, you know, movies and music. So if you're already an iTunes user, you'll be able to access your uh, your content through a Samsung TV, a 2018 or 2019 model. Now, I'm not quite sure which models are going to have it. I just know that this update is happening. And this is fantastic news. You're not going to need an actual Apple device to access your content on a Samsung TV 2018-2019. And I find this very interesting because we have a, the same situation kind of going on with gamers, where gamers don't want to accept that in the future, you'll be able to access the content that you own on, say, your Xbox or your PlayStation device and access it through the cloud, you know, on your television, on your, on your smart devices, you know, your phone, your tablets. This is something that is coming. And the reason why this is coming is these companies are realizing that they are bottlenecked by their own devices. Now, you are forced to get their devices in order to enjoy some of the stuff in their ecosystem. Now, of course, they want to sell devices, and I understand that. And to be honest with you, being able to access your content on other devices it doesn't really give you the same experience as you would have on that device itself. It, it complements the device, but it doesn't replace the device. You know, you, you're still going to need a device to, you know, go around and, you know, listen to your iTunes or, you know, you're going to want to use your iPhone maybe to, you know, take a look at your iTunes movies or, or, or videos that you have on there when you're on the go and you have some time to burn. So the devices are always going to be there. The same with consoles. You're always going to want to go home and fire up your, your, your Xbox or your next PlayStation console and natively play your games on your console on your big screen TV because you're going to get a better experience. Uh, for gamers, you know, you're going to get that native 4K resolution on your television. You're going to get, uh, you know, a, a higher fidelity uh, higher fidelity graphics than you would get opposed to streaming it. Now, streaming, it, it, it's good for um, content, to be honest with you, but you do lose some quality when you're streaming games, when you're streaming music, when you're streaming um, videos. You're going to lose some of that clarity. It's, it, it's just going to happen. Native is always going to be better. If you get a native 4K Blu-ray disc, and you look at the streaming counterpart, say, let's say on iTunes, um, it's going to look better on the native 4K player because it just does. It, it's just going to look better. It doesn't have to send that information anywhere. You know, it doesn't have to retransmit that information to you. You don't lose any type of quality from it. There's going to be no type of uh, compression artifacts that you're going to get from the streaming content. So it's just an option it's never going to replace the real mccoy that's what i gotta say on the gamers because right now a lot of gamers are just losing their minds saying no 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 it's not going to be streaming these guys are not going to do what the xbox is going to do ah oh, you guys just don't want to hold the l and all this nonsense like take the fanboy dust out of your eyes the future is streaming for a lot of these devices and just like this update that you're going to see uh i would say within the next month or so with Apple, they're allowing other people to access their content without an iOS device. And they're doing this once again so they can reach more consumers. These companies, they don't really care too much what you, you think that they do, unless it's maybe the stock the, the, the stockholders. You know, they, they, they answer to the stockholders. And the stockholders, they want these, uh, sorry, excuse me, these stockholders want these companies to make money. That's the, that's the bottom line. These companies are in it to make money. And when they see all these untapped, the, the potential for these untapped consumers, these companies just can't resist. And um, streaming services are, are going to go up. Uh, you're going to see a lot of uh, other companies imitate uh, 
the Xbox Pass, you know, EA Access, EA Origin, and they're going to offer their own streaming services for their games or, or, or for, their, for their catalog of games. You're going to see other companies bringing their streaming stuff. Sorry, there's some noise going on in the background here. I think the garbage is going off. I apologize if you guys can hear that. But you're going to see these companies tripping over themselves to put their stuff on whatever they can stream it to. Uh, this is coming. This is the future. And uh, I just want to know what you guys think about this. I want to know what you guys, first of all, think about VR. If you guys have tried virtual reality, please leave your comments down below. If you guys are interested in virtual reality or want some information how to get the cheapest headset or what you need to get um, to, to step into the VR realm, also leave a comment down below. And I also want to know, of course, what you guys think about streaming games and, and, and streaming content you know to devices that you don't own you know the 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 original device that's in their ecosystem and of course are you looking forward to the 2019 samsung tvs uh like i said i have some interesting news coming hopefully i'll be able to drop it in the next few weeks and uh if this goes through it's going to be huge for 2018 2019 samsung tv owners uh so yeah just leave your comments down below uh this is a little bit different video than i usually do um whatever it is what it is uh if you guys like it uh leave your comments down below if you guys hate it leave your comments down below as well and like i usually say please like share and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on the next one